What's up guys, if you're looking for an awesome home for sale in Brecksville, Ohio, I'm over at 3765 Box Elder Drive. This is a new listing by Danielle Zabo with our office. Uh, she is a fantastic realtor with Howard Hanna Real Estate. Fantastic person all around. This is her new listing. I'm gonna show you guys around inside here. This is over on the east side of uh, Brecksville. We're about 10 minutes from Cuyahoga Valley National Park and uh, we're about two minutes from a giant eagle shopping anything that you may need the freeway access is right around the corner here we're in a uh, small neighborhood right off the main road so you have really easy access but it's very quiet and peaceful back here let me flip my camera around here and i'll show you guys around inside so this is four bedrooms three bathrooms this is your garage entryway on one side of the street and you have a great little patio area there. I'll come back around and show you that. And we're gonna go around to the front of the house because this is a really cool Tudor style. You can see the neighborhood here. It's very quiet. City water, city sewer, highly rated Brecksville School District. Nice front yard area. The backyard here is awesome. And they have a walkout basement here as well, which I love a good walkout basement. I don't know about you guys. It's just, it really brightens up the space compared to something that's not walkout. Beautiful Tudor style house, brick front to it. Very well maintained. Let's go inside. So four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,700 square feet above, over 900 below, makes it almost 3,700 square feet of living space. This was built in 1980. And I gotta tell you, it does not look like it at all because it's a lot more updated than a lot of things that I see from 1980. So we're about to have an open house here. There was one yesterday that was pretty busy. Uh, I believe there's, what, 18 houses for sale in Brecksville right now? Very limited inventory everywhere. So this is probably not gonna last through the weekend. So your first main floor, very open, very bright. You have these large ceilings, almost two-story ceiling entryway, and then you have your main living room area with the vaulted ceiling there as well. Hey guys, large windows in the front. And then your dining area, primarily your dining area, right off of the kitchen. Really nice cabinets in here. Great Peninsula Island space. Stainless steel appliances as well. Really convenient sized kitchen. So you can fit multiple people in here, but it's not so much room that you have to walk here and there to get to your appliances. It's, it makes it really easy and convenient. Let me show you the backyard from the kitchen window. They have a really cute little shed out there, a nice little garden area, and then the porch out in the front. This is kind of a split level design. It's just one step down. We'll go up in a minute, but they've got this really cool wall of stone back there, and that is a wood burning stove insert as well. And then you have your slider door out to the deck. And then they've got a nice little wet bar area over to the left here, which I have not actually seen yet because I've been in such a rush to get this open house ready for everyone to come in. Sundays are usually really busy for open houses. Here's your very large back porch. Go out there and show you the outside. You get your grilling area out here a nice built-in bench, and they have their step down to the garden area. That's the walkout basement door right there also. I'll show you that. We're going to go upstairs first, and then I'll show you down in the basement. Not too much yard. This is half an acre, so you do have a lot of privacy, and there's that little patio area there. You have a lot of privacy with these trees and everything, uh, but it's not so much that it's horrible to maintain because there isn't a lot of grass here to take care of. This is the basement door over to my left. And then we have the first full bathroom on the main floor here. And then there is a first floor bedroom here as well. Very nice, large size bedroom. A lot of people are looking for that first floor master bedroom area. Here's your two car garage right here, entryway into your mudroom, laundry room area. You have a nice sink right there. It's great to have that space to keep all the shoes and everything. You know, Northeast Ohio in the winter can get a little messy. It's nice to have that space separating 
all the messy boots and if you have dogs coming in and out from the garage. We're gonna go downstairs first because the basement door is right here. And then we'll show you guys upstairs. Really cool basement. Half of this is finished or most of this is finished. They have a game room down here and then a finished space over to the right. Just some storage area in there. Large windows, large slider door, that walkout basement. You can see how much of a difference it makes having that walkout. It does not feel like a dark basement at all. It feels like a second level. So it's really just more living space down here. Then let's go up. So there are four bedrooms. There's one on the main floor and then three upstairs. The houses that I see selling, as you guys know, real estate has slowed down quite a bit this year because there are uh, limited listings, very limited inventory, slower sales. But what I see selling are houses, three to four bedroom houses, uh, three to $500,000 with first floor masters, of course, go very quickly. And that are updated, a little more pretty, new paint, new trim, which is everything that this house has. So this is the first bedroom, which they have as an office. And then you have your second bedroom in here with a nice large closet. And then we'll go over into the hallway bathroom. There's a full bathroom in there right in the hallway. And then your, really this is a second master bedroom. So the first floor technically isn't a master because the bathroom isn't attached, I guess. You have your nice walk-in closet in here. And then over to the left is the full master bath. Really nice skylight in here, New, newer vanity. So like I said, this is listed at 490, just under 500,000. That first floor bedroom being updated and painted and having half an acre in Brexville with the schools 10 minutes from some of the best parks in Northeast Ohio. I cannot see this lasting very long. If you guys are looking for homes for sale in Brexville or anywhere in Northeast Ohio, give me a call, text, or email. I'd love to help. Great new listing by Danielle Zabo. Thanks again for watching.